Like most of the season, the football wasn't really that entertaining, but we did what we set out to do today, and that was get three points, and they are vital. We needed to. One point behind Manchester City. Now, if we'd have lost this with six games left, four points behind, it wouldn't have been impossible, but it would have been improbable. Now it's a high possibility, and we need to believe that we can get in the top four. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the first half was really, really poor. It, 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 honestly, there was one chance of note for either side, and it was Martial. He had a shot. It was deflected by Baines, I think, and it went wide. It might, it probably would have went in if it wasn't deflected, but, you know, that was about it. And then the second half, it did improve. It still wasn't amazing, but it was end-to-end. -end. There was chances at both sides. I think Everton's best chance was when Lukaku uh, got past the ball in, and it was about seven, eight yards out. But uh, I think it was Daily Blind who had a fantastic game and um, he managed to get a block on it and it went wide. Apart from that, uh, late on, Everton had another chance. The shot was directly at uh, David De Gea. They didn't really create much. And uh, for once, well, that's twice in a row now where Louis van Gaal seems to have got his substitutes correct. He brought on Fosu Mensa for uh, Rojo, who was fairly poor in the first half. Uh, he gave away possession at fair bit. And uh, Fosu Mensa made an instant impact. It was a, a ball from, is it Schneidlin to Mata? It's a brilliant first touch. Manages to find Rashford. Rashford back heels it to Fosu Mensa, who's bursting through. And he puts a great cross in. Now, of course, I think it's Coleman should have dealt with it, but he didn't. And Martial was right there to slot it in. And that was good enough for the win. That's all we needed. We held on. Very solid performances from Smalling, as well as Blind. He was subbed off later. I think he had a little niggle for um, Antonio Valencia, who held the ball up well in the later stages, which is uh, good. We also brought on Ander Herrera for Carrick. A little bit more legs in the midfield. So, you know, tactically, we... we we did well. Well, Louis van Gaal did well today. Um, but, I mean, aside from that, we, we could have easily drawn this game nil-nil. It did take a little bit of brilliance. So, when I'm saying he's got his tactics right, defensively, like for most of the season, he's got his tactics right. But, going forward, we did lack like any sort of tempo, any sort of uh, cohesion. Like There was no movement again. So, that's an issue. I mean, granted, it is Everton who are a very attacking side, so I'll forgive him, particularly because we got the three points. But, uh, don't get me wrong, I still want Jose Mourinho in. I still want Louis van Gaal out. I think he's done too much this season wrong. But I'm trying to credit when he does things right. And defensively, he's done it right recently, but... Again, we just need to find something else because we've got Spurs away next and they they are going to be a really, really big challenge. We narrowly beat them 1-0 on the opening day at Old Trafford and we've also got Leicester at home. I'm confident about playing Leicester at home. We drew 1-1 against them last time we played them away and uh, yeah, our home form is brilliant. That's what gives me confidence. We've got four more home games and our home form is the second best in the league only to Leicester. And uh, our away form is like mid-table form, which is why we are fifth. But if we keep going and keep grinding out these results, look at Leicester, four one nils in a row. I wouldn't mind that as long as it gets us results. This is where it matters. This is where results over performance matter towards the end of the season. It's for most of the other season when it's you know a mixture, but towards the end of it, look at what Mourinho did for Chelsea. He he just made sure that they won the title. Now we need to make sure we grind out results and uh, yeah, finish in that top four. It's definitely on six games left. I'm confident. The only thing I think that maybe could swing it in City's favour is uh, De Bruyne's injury. Like he's back now and he's already proved what he can do and what they were missing when he was injured so that's the only thing that really doesn't make me that confident but we'll see what we can do all we can do is hope and uh, we've got our FA Cup game Arsenal do best but uh, no just for one season that's what I want so we can you know hopefully improve next season we've had three me mediocre years so hopefully next year we'll be back to challenging but anyway this is rambling on good result solid three points oh and anthony marcial scored our thousandth goal at home the only team in the premier league so far to do that